But uh, Doc, uh, welcome to the interview. Thank you very much. We just want to get your comment, Doc, uh, that um, regarding the just ended by election in Rwanda, and uh, how would you rate your performance uh, so far up to this end? Well, uh, <coughs> at Leadership Movement, we know our mission at the moment. We want to market the party, and uh, wherever we have a candidate who uh, accepts the ideologies of the Leadership Movement, and we are preaching the ideology to the people, we appreciate that. And uh, the, the performance that was, uh, that was portrayed in Luangwa is very encouraging. Remember, those are places where we got to zeros in the previous election. Today we are managing to have 60 genuine uh, supporters of leadership movement. That is appreciated on our part because we have seen how other political parties have been doing there. They were killing cows. Uh, there was violence all over. And that is not a good atmosphere for people to thrive on ideas, to accept uh, and to do best for them. So we think as a leadership movement, we are we are growing steadily and we are preaching the manifesto, our ideologies that we believe in, and people are coming genuinely to understand the leadership movement. So that is a very good uh, starting point on the part of Rwanda, and we are not discouraged. As you have seen, we are, uh, we are in Kabushi, we are in, uh, in Kwacha, we are in, uh, uh, we are in, uh, uh, in Kwacha as well. All these by elections because we want Zambians to have an opportunity that is horrible that no one can even imagine. Imagine in such a circumstance where you have a manifesto where a candidate can withdraw anytime, even at the day of election, zero six hours. We believe that the problem of this country is very deep. It doesn't just come from what we are seeing today. It comes from way back, starting from the education system we have been given, the experts that we have produced who believe in nothing but following uh, their, uh, their, uh, their instructors, the people who gave them all the, the education, the Westerners, people who are telling them what to do. This is why we are, we are getting ourselves entangled in things that should be straightforward. Uh, we find ourselves interpreting uh, ways that are straightforward, but we can't understand them, but it's us who wrote the Constitution. It doesn't make sense. So we need to revisit our education system. We need to revisit the way we produce experts, the way we produce people to preside over the affairs of this nation. Otherwise, we are really doomed as a country. Future generations will look back and say, here lived a group of useless Zambians who did not know where they are coming from and where they are going. Finally, let me also get your position as a leadership movement and you as a president of the party. There's been some kind of talks regarding the uh, demise of uh, Queen Elizabeth and uh, the discussion now has changed a little bit where people now, we are talking about uh, the, the uh, day of national mourning which will be declared by the government here in Zambia. Does that have a ripple effect on our economy? Well, first of all, let's look at the facts. Coming from, we would not be celebrating uh, Queen Elizabeth or even if we are at the center of colonialism. It is almost like looking at those days when 200 able-bodied massacre men were rounded up by one slim white man and being whipped and being put in a ship taken to America. And everyone was thinking that these people are godly saints and we should be uh, just slaves as we are today. When we look back, we laugh at that generation that succumbed to slavery. And we today, we are perpetuating uh, the shackles of colonialism. We have given up on our minerals. We have given up the copper belt. We have given up everything to foreign investors. And we are celebrating the, the Queen's death. What has the Queen done to this country? that we can count as something progressive, apart from colonialism. Why were our find, founding fathers fighting for independence? If we understand these laws, we wouldn't be celebrating uh, the Queen, we wouldn't be putting up all these national mornings and pretending as if uh, the Queen Elizabeth has really contributed to, uh, to the, our way of life. So we should be ashamed of this national morning 
we should be calling a spade a spade. This is why uh, in America people are changing. They are not supporting slavery. Why should we support colonialism? Why should we embody colonizers? This does not make sense.